First of all, Coach, congratulations. What a run. I will get to the championship game in a second. But talk about how you got there. You beat some pretty dang good teams, Minnesota Duluth, Michigan, who had, what did they have, record three of the, four of the top four five? Four of the top five picks from last year's yeah, draft yeah. on that team. A lot how of them are in the, the NHL now. Yeah, I know. Um, no, it was murderer's row um, to get through to it. And, I mean, even starting with our first game up in Loveland, it was great um, to be up where the Eagles play. Had a great support from our fans and, and their community up there. But had to play UMass Lowell and then Minnesota Duluth, who we just lost to the previous weekend. And um, it only got tougher at the Frozen Four, having to play Michigan and then Minnesota State Mankato. So it was a grind of four teams. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, well done, Coach. I noticed this trophy is not as perfect as when you got it. How many <laughs> trips, how many interviews have you done with this bad boy in last year? Yeah, I've had it about an hour. I got it home yesterday, took a few photos with William and uh, but the boys have been boys have been having a little bit of fun with it and um, taking it out and about. We took it to Campus Lounge, uh, the staff yesterday. That's the first place we took it. So um, it was great to get it there um, in Jim Wissey's stomping grounds. Oh, I love it. Now, I had to do a little research, of course. You know, you're 32 years old. You're a dashing, young, good-looking guy. Thank you. Fourth youngest coach in NCAA history to win a championship. Yeah. What does it mean to you? Or is it just kind of? No, I mean, I think it means more just to have the opportunity to coach at, at our program and um, so many people like yourself who, alumni who came before us and, um, you know, it's just, it's such an honor to coach there and, and you come to Denver one to win championships and win big trophies like these, but to then be able to do it and add to it is, is a heck of an accomplishment and we're really proud. Oh, in the game, coach, when you're down one nothing, heading to the third period, whether it's the players or maybe it was you, did you say anything? Uh, we, we talked in between periods and, and a lot of it was just it's a one-shot game still you know we haven't played our best yet um, let's do a man be better take responsibility for for the game we've had and we haven't been our best and let's go out 20 minutes um, and Tavis said in the coach's room he felt if we won the period we'd win the hockey game do we think we'd score five probably not <laughs> but we will take it and we won the game so um, give our guys a ton of credit Magnus Krona held us in it gave our guys some time to get their legs underneath them and and we were able to make some plays, and the game opened up, and we were able to capitalize on a few plays. Now, 2017, you won as an assistant. Yep. Now it's as a head coach. What's the best difference? Uh, I don't know. They're both great. You win your last <laughs> game of the year, you're, you're loving life. So, I mean, that's what everyone comes into it, starting with that goal in mind. And uh, we're thrilled to have done it. We obviously hope the Avs can follow it up and, uh, and hoist Lord Stanley here. Um, in Ball Arena. Coach laying down the gauntlet. Eh? I know. I uh, like it. Hey, we yeah. hope so too. Uh, real quick, back to the bench. Was there a point where it was 3-1, 4-1, where you're talking to your assistant coaches, or you're looking up at the Jumbotron, and you can say inside your, yourself, my God, I think we've done yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I think the 3-1 the goal is, is obviously huge, but there's still time left on the clock, but um, it just gives you a little bit of breathing room. Um, and then obviously the fourth goal, you know, there's two and a half left, and and you're just, we're just trying to tell the guys, hey, stay in the moment, enjoy it, you know, watch what's going on, take a look around, because um, this is something you'll never forget the rest of your life. Awesome. And coach, you got a 10 month old at home, you're a national champ. How many hours of sleep over the last five days? Be honest. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's under my regular, um, <laughs> you know, but. You count them on one hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but uh, we're grinding through it, and it, it's, uh, it's obviously a good problem to have right now. Well, awesome. congratulations. Yeah. Congrats, thanks, thanks, boys. Appreciate we're it. We're going to need some security getting you out of here because yeah. you're going to be walking like that. That's like carrying around two Bud Lights. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is awesome. Uh, Congrats. Yeah. Thanks, fellas.